Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be with you here today on this live stream. Okay. So welcome. Today is Friday, and I think it's about the 10th of the month. Uh, should probably pay more attention to the date, but I do know what we're going to be doing today. Today I will be focusing on rejuvenation. This is a very important uh, aspect of anybody's life. They want to feel better. They want to feel stronger. They want to feel healthier. And they want, of course, to look younger. And there are many uh, ways to accomplish that. There is uh, opportunities in the physical world, things that we can do to help the rejuvenation of the inside of our body. There is ways that we can improve uh, the facial features, the skin, etc. The form of rejuvenation I'll be talking with you about today is related to spiritual rejuvenation, inner healing, outer healing. <clears throat> there is a variety of ways to accomplish that using spiritual practices. And so today we're going to discover a few of those. And as with everything, it's something that you must do consistently to see results. Uh, it took, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years to start looking older in which you wished you could rejuvenate. And so you have to do a little bit of practice to reverse the conditions that have come about uh, that might have brought about a lack of rejuvenation. But today you'll learn a few of those uh, uh, very important secrets. And uh, I can assure you that if you do practice them, you'll definitely be feeling better. So yesterday we focused on energy and energizing the body using a very uh, sacred and special mantra. And uh, we'll touch on that a little bit today as we will be doing the opposite of that practice for rejuvenation and as well as be adding a different practice as those. So <clears throat> earlier this week, we, we focused on uh, the foundational energy centers. There are quite a few of them. We only touched on three. Uh, we touched on the lower Dantian, which is the second chakra, how to boost and empower it and remove blockages. We touched on the snow mountain area, also known as the Kundalini. And there were some significant uh, teachings, wisdom, and practices in this area, as well as the opportunity to receive um, a healing and transmission system for these areas. We also touched on creation and reverse creation, which truly is a form of rejuvenation because we're moving towards reverse creation. We're moving back towards heart of the creator. And in doing so, we are becoming younger, more original, if you will. So even doing that practice was a rejuvenation-based practice. <clears throat> and today, we'll be focusing mostly on uh, rejuvenation-based practices and the teachings and wisdoms of Dr. and Master Shah as I have learned them. I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah and so in being a world representative, what that means is that I'm dedicated to assist humanity, to uplift humanity's souls, hearts, minds, and bodies, to empower humanity to self-heal. Dr. Master Shah has three empowerments. The first empowerment is to serve. I am a universal servant. You are a universal servant. Together, we serve each other and all souls unconditionally. The next empowerment is the power to heal. I can heal myself. You can heal yourself. Together, we help the world to heal. And the third empowerment is the, the uh, power of <coughs> soul. I am a soul. You are a soul. Everyone and everything has a soul. And we all have the opportunity to bring healing at the level of soul. Now, this is not exactly how Dr. Master Shah has expressed it in his books, but his empowerments are to serve humanity, and I'm honored to be a worldwide representative where I can assist you becoming more aware of some of these processes. So I see that the, uh, the live stream seems a little bit lagging. Hopefully it's not too bad on your side. <clears throat> and so thank you all for uh, coming, and also thank you for hitting the share button to let other people know about this. Fridays, we usually don't have as many people coming in because they're already uh, camped in for the night or watching their favorite Friday evening show. Uh, some places it's already Saturday. But for those who have come, you'll be very blessed today. So before I started, <clears throat> by the way, I'm in Dr. and Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center here in Honolulu. 
And uh, Dr. Master Shah has six centers around the world. Each of these centers carry extraordinary healing power. If you happen to be in any area where there is a center, <coughs> there is one in uh, Mumbai, India. We have uh, one right here in Honolulu. There is one in the um, uh, Toronto area. There is one in the Vancouver area. There's a new one that just opened up in the Sydney zone. And uh, there is uh, several um, semi-centers, if you will, in Europe, including Germany. There are several, um, when I say semi-centers, meaning they're unofficial centers. And as also uh, one of the highest divine channels in Master Shell's organization has just moved over to London. And so there is a lot of activity happening in that zone now. So I recommend that you become more familiar with uh, Dr., uh, excuse me, Master David Lush, who is uh, a very advanced divine channel, extraordinary healing abilities, extraordinary third eye, and he's doing quite a bit of activity now in the London area. So we will uh, invoke now and ask the soul of Dr. Master Shah's Tao Healing Center and all the holy beings that are present here. I'm surrounded by calligraphies. Uh, there's a Tao Chong room in the next room, uh, actually in this room about 10, 20 feet from me. Uh, the, the power in here is extraordinary. So whoever stays with us today will receive huge blessings. <clears throat> so let us connect heart to heart and soul to soul. And then I will check in with whoever has joined us. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Left hand on your heart center, right hand gently pointed upwards. And let us fully connect. Dear beloved divine, dear Tao, dear source, I love you, I honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and I thank you. We ask you to please be present in whatever way is most appropriate at this time. To the soul of Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, all the holy beings, guides, angels, saints, temple souls, and treasures that are present, we love you all, honor you, respect you, and we ask you so very much to be present as well. To the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, the light side of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, all masters and ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, we love you all, honor you, appreciate you, and we invite you to join us as well in this daily live stream. Bless us to align our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies to our own soul's journey. Bless us to rejuvenate with our practices today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, I love you. We invite you to please turn on, and as we chant for all souls in all universes, we ask you to join with us. <coughs> We're very, very grateful. Thank you. So let us chant together and connect. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. <coughs> lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tran ran lei. Wang li hing rong. Her mu shi shang, 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I want to uh, scroll backwards here and acknowledge everyone that's joined us today. Welcome, Teresa, and welcome, Angel. Welcome, and thank you both for your sharing with your friends. Aloha, CJ. Aloha, Angie. Welcome, Dean. <coughs> thank you, Kristen Rojas, for all that you do, and welcome. Welcome, Carol. Uh, welcome, Nurma. Welcome, Brenda Becken, Becken, Beckenlehner. Beckenlehner. Hopefully I didn't do that too bad. Welcome Linda Jansen. Uh, welcome Esther. Hi Ilona. Welcome Brianna McCleave. Nice to see some uh, new faces jumping in here today. Welcome Tawana. Welcome Zilke. Thank you for updating the information on the Berlin Center. So in Germany there is a Berlin Center and it is active. Uh, one of the uh, leading divine teachers left and so my information was incorrect about the center uh, shifting. Um, welcome Shari, and welcome Stephanie, welcome Nina, and uh, welcome Brianne again, and then also welcome uh, Yvonne Chow. <coughs> if anybody I didn't mention, please forgive me, not, not always do your name show up. Sometimes I only see your name when I see that you've shared, and then I'm like, oh, there's somebody else that has joined us, but I, I don't see their name pop up unless they see a share. So thank you for all those that have shared. So again, my name is uh, Master Paul. I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. The, uh, the master part is just, it's just the name. It basically means I'm dedicated to serve humanity and I'm here to assist you in whatever way is most needed. The song we just sang is Love, Peace and Harmony and it is currently in roughly 50 languages, sung all over the world. And the purpose of course is one thought, one song, one world. And so my encouragement is to go to lovepeaceharmony.org and learn more about this divine soul song and the purpose, power, and intention behind it. I truly appreciate um, the opportunity to share that wisdom with you. Today we're focusing on rejuvenation. And there, as indicated, there are many ways that we can rejuvenate ourselves. You know, I'm starting to look older now. I'm not overly happy about that. So I'm looking at face creams and things like that. But the reality is that we actually rejuvenate from the inside out. And the simple reason why is because our exterior is a reflection of our interior. And I don't necessarily mean the health and efficacy of our organs and systems. Our physical body is a reflection of our energy body. If we have a pure energy body, our physical body reflects that. And our energy body is not outside of us, it is inside of us. We are a, we are a soul. And as a soul, we carry along with our soul all lifetimes of all experiences. Many beautiful, wonderful, pleasant memories and experiences. Many, not so, not so much. And the ones that we wished we could change come and enter our life and they create blockages because we need to learn lessons from them. That's also referred to as karma. It depends on what, what uh, perspective you come from. Um, but basically what you do is what you reap. And so those tend to impact our energetic vehicle, our soul. And they, they, they create blockages in between the seven soul houses or seven chakras. If you uh, attended yesterday, we spoke a bit about the seven soul houses and we chanted a song that circumnavigated the seven soul houses, the Wai Jiao, and started creating an energetic pattern. There were people reporting that their back pain had disappeared, that headache had disappeared, that they were definitely feeling more energized. And the reason why is very simple. When we move energy, blood follows. But it's important for us to understand that as a soul, as a soul that, that has an energetic vehicle, that we must take care of it from those two levels first. Heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. What does that mean, heal the soul first? That means that recognize that your soul carries with it 
lifetimes of spiritual virtue and spiritual debt, and that those uh, imbalances can impact us. They can um, restrict aspects of the flow of our energy body. They can restrict aspects of our intelligence, of our love relationships. They can impact our finances, our health and well-being. On all levels, uh, karmic blockages can impact us. And so when we address these at the level of the soul, at the level of the energetic body, we are not only clearing those kinds of karmic blockages, we are also bringing more light into our vessel. And as we bring more light into our vessel, we are naturally rejuvenating. We are naturally creating more energy. The flow of how we accomplish that can bring a different result. Yesterday, we focused on energizing our body by chanting a mantra and, and moving that light in a specific direction. Today, we'll focus on a different direction and a similar uh, mantra, but um, I'll, I see quite a few new names today, so I will go back over some of those wisdom and teachings from yesterday, and we'll use that. There's also another mantra that we'll be incorporating today, so we use two mantras. And the thing about a mantra is it's one of four major powers. There is light power, there is sound power, uh, not light power, excuse me. There is mind power, there is sound power, there is uh, body power, and there is soul power. And so I'll touch on those a little bit more in just a few minutes as to how we can best achieve the rejuvenation. But the first thing to understand is that heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. Now, for those that have just joined in, I want to give just a little more backdrop on that. Um, as indicated, I am a student of Dr. and Master Shah. This is one of his more recent books. It's called Soul, Mind, Body, Science. It was written with a physicist. And he talks about the grand unification theory and creation and reverse creation, uh, quite a few things. He, uh, Dr. Master Shah is a doctor of uh, modern medicine, uh, Eastern and Western medicine. He has a doctorate in both. And he's quite world famous. He, he knows a, a great, quite a few dignitaries. And he does a lot of uh, healing for them. But he doesn't pick up a, a, an acupuncture needle or, or, or anything that's uh, TLC related, uh, uh, excuse me, traditional Chinese medicine related or American medicine related. Um, what he does is he does specifically soul healing. And uh, Dr. Master Shah is a grand master in Tai Chi. He's a grand master in Qigong. He's a grand master in, in Feng Shui. He's a grand master in the I Ching. Uh, he is the Grand Master in five different modalities, and he's trained with many, many high-level beings uh, from the China area, very well-respected high-level masters. And then he came to America, excuse me, Canada, roughly about um, 20 or so years ago, and started teaching. And he became a divine channel vehicle and servant, meaning uh, he serves the divine. Um, and as a universal servant, as someone dedicated to serve humanity, he has received um, higher healing authorities and abilities. Uh, he has written 20 books that basically all touch on the exact same subject matter. The subject matter does not change from book to book in the core, and the core is that everyone and everything has a soul. And everything. So that means the, the, the speck of water that flies off when the wave hits has a soul. Um, every grain of sand has a soul. Uh, everything is from Creator. Therefore, everything has a spark of divine in it. Therefore, everything has a soul. And he didn't invent this. He was, he was told this as he went through his higher level spiritual training with the divine. And the divine said, you know, everything has a soul and, and humanity needs to recognize that everything is interconnected. And that when we communicate with the soul, that every soul wishes to serve. Every soul wants to serve so it can elevate its soul standing and return back to source. Pretty common sense when you break it down. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that basic common sense. And yet we do need great teachers to bring that common sense to us. So uh, there are many books that, he, that this master has written, over 20, 10 of which have reached New York Times bestsellers. And again, that's not an easy thing to accomplish. So there must be some pretty good wisdom in there to be able to, to get that far along. So my encouragement is to learn a little bit more about how this teacher is. Follow your heart. Doesn't resonate with you? No worries. Keep going till you find something that does. But if it does, then continue. Uh, you, could, you could move quite a bit further on your soul journey if it resonates with you. And so uh, Kristen has posted his website uh, on, on one of her chats. You're welcome to, uh, to follow through with that. So today I will be sharing with you some of the wisdom teachings that he has talked about in, in both uh, this book, The Soul, Mind, Body, Science. Um, this, by the way, is the image of Dr. and Master Shah. 
you can see he's a beautiful soul. Uh, and then uh, he's talked about some mantra, including uh, what's called Tao mantras. And these are mantras that assist us to rejuvenate. One is called Fan Lao Huang Tong. This is Mandarin Chinese, and it means return old age to the youth of a baby. Fan Lao Huang Tong. And um, we will be incorporating that mantra today. And then there's also another one that I'm going to talk about now. This is the other half of what we did yesterday. So I started out by discussing about rejuvenation is by healing from the inside out. And that we are soul first. And that when we heal at the level of soul, the mind and body will follow. Well, why does it work that way? Because if we are a soul first, which is my belief, uh, and then the body follows. That means the body is a mirror image of everything that's happening at the soul level. And the, since the soul carries forth all of our pleasant and unpleasant experiences, therefore the body is a mirror representation of our pleasant and unpleasant experiences. So if we have suffering anywhere, let's say neck pain, then at the soul level there's darkness around the neck and so forth. Heal the soul first and then the body and mind will follow. Having done many, many healings, many, many miracle healings, given all credit to God, why does a person's neck pain go away when I use a transmission? Because the blockages at the level of soul have been removed, therefore the physical body's pain changes. It's quite extraordinary. I've, I've witnessed it and offered the blessings for over eight years and went through a process of disbelief to complete belief. Uh, but a lot of it came because of this basic understanding. Heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. And the same occurs for rejuvenation. What is rejuvenation? It is the clearing of our Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages is a longer version of saying karmic blockages. We say Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages so you can have a clear understanding of what is karmic blockages. Shen is soul, heart, and mind. Qi means energy. You've heard of Qi Gong and Tai Chi. So Qi means energy. And Jing, J-I-N-G, Jing means matter. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter blockages. Soul blockages are simply karma blockages. It's just wrongdoings. Uh, uh, heart blockages are blockages such as wrong thinking of the heart, uh, lack of love, holding back love, breaking people's hearts, selfishness, heart blockages. Uh, mind blockages, negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs. If it has negative in front of it, it's not good for your karma. Uh, ego. Ego is huge. I am better than you. This isn't right. I know better. All that's ego. And of course, attachments, being attached to things. And so all of these are soul, heart, mind, body blockages. Now the, the, the soul, heart, and mind blockages affect our energy and matter. You need to understand. Our energy and matter is what we are made up of. We are 99% energy, 1% matter. Science validates that. And so the soul carries forth all of our um, uh, spiritual debt and all of our spiritual virtue. It manifests in our body. We walk through life with our karmic blockages in our face at all times. Many of us are completely unaware of it and we just blame everybody outside of us. And we wonder why we can't heal this or heal that or, or, or why that happened to me or why I have this pain or this suffering or whatever it is that's happening in our life. And yet when we wake up to the basic understanding that we can transform these soul, heart, mind, energy, matter blockages by first understanding that what caused them, secondly, love and forgiveness, okay, and thirdly, applying uh, the soul power, which is what you're going to be learning today. So... These um, karmic blockages come to us in the form of energy matter blockages. They manifest in our body. The matter, for example, what is condensed matter? Uh, condensed matter uh, of negative energy is like a, a tumor, something like that. And so energy needs to flow unencumbered between the cells, between the cell units, between the organs, between the systems. In order for that to occur, we have to move the energy. It has to be moved. How do we move it? We move it by clearing the Shen Qi Jing blockages. How do we clear the Shen Qi Jing blockages? I just mentioned it. We use the four powers and we use love and forgiveness. I will incorporate those today. We're going to use soul power, love. We're going to use a forgiveness practice. We're going to then use the four powers, body power, soul power, mind power, sound power. 
So how we sit, what we focus on, the sound power that we use, and connecting at the level of soul to clear the soul level blockages will all be incorporated to release what might be inhibiting us from further rejuvenation. So that's a mouthful to spit out in 10 or 15 minutes, but since I, these, these live streams are only one hour and we have between four and uh, six new people, not to mention the 500 or so that will watch this after the recording is done, um, I need to cover these basic things, okay? So I hope that you were able to grasp enough of that to where what we're doing makes sense. And uh, if not, don't worry about it, keep coming. The more you watch, the more practices you do, <laughs> you're definitely going to feel better, no question about that. And you'll, you'll start to grasp more and more as we go, all right? So we're going to incorporate <clears throat> the four powers, and I want to uh, briefly touch on what we did yesterday so that today makes sense. Yesterday we, we chanted for looping the uh, light and the energy through our seven soul houses, uh, which is your seven chakras in, in the tradi traditional uh, language you might be familiar with. And it's from the base or the root chakra up through the center of the body, up to the top of the head, back down in front of the spine. This is the loop. <clears throat> and we chanted a mantra, and it was Hei Hung Hung Ah Shi Yi Wong Yo. So put your hand in front of your base chakra, which is at the root of your body, and say, hey, hey, repeat, hey, hey. Now place your hand uh, just under your lower abdomen, maybe about an inch or so under your lower abdomen. Say the word, hung, 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 H-E-N-G, hung, hung, hung. These are the sound powers for these uh, energy centers, these chakras. Uh, place your hand on your belly button, right in the center. Say the sound power, hong, 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 hong. Now place it over your heart center. Your heart center is in the direct center of your chest. <coughs> the sound power is ah, ah, ah. Now place your palm over your throat. This is the fifth soul house, fifth chakra. The sound power is she, she, she. The sixth soul house is the third eye, center of the brain. The sound power is yi, yi, yi. And on top of your head is the seventh soul house. The sound power is wong, w-e-n-g, wong, wong, wong. And as the light, as the energy runs through your body down in front of your spine, back to the torso, the sound power is yo, yo. And so yesterday, for those that are new, I recommend you go back and watch yesterday's video. How do you do that? Above this live stream is exactly how you do that. It says, if you want to go see my archives, go here. And so that's how you can accomplish that. Uh, you can also friend me, and on my page, just scroll down a little bit, you'll see yesterday's uh, teachings. All the teachings have been truly valuable, highly recommended. Wednesday we did the Kundalini, a um, lot of exceptional teachings that can serve you well. Anyway. Sound that we did yesterday that you may or may not remember was Hey Hung Hong Ah Shi Yi Wong Yu. First soul house Hey Hung Hong Ah Shi Yi Wong Yu. Repeat Hey Hung Hong Ah Shi Yi Wong Yu. Hey hung hung ah shi yi wong yo. So again, recommend that you go back and watch that one. Today we're going to do the reverse circle as one of two mantras that we'll be focusing on. The circle that we just chanted is called the energy channel. Thank you for your sharing, Elizabeth. And welcome Emily He for joining us. Um, thank you, Kristen, for your loops. Welcome, Felix. Welcome, Judas. Welcome, JR. Welcome, Teresa. And welcome, C Love. Welcome, Katie Nada. And welcome, Tatiana. Welcome, Tammy Lee. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. <coughs> and Teresa. If I haven't mentioned you, please forgive me. I didn't see your name. Uh, so the mantra is. Uh, uh, hey, hung, hung, arshi, wong, yo. Now, on Dr. Master Shah's website, 
Uh, he does have uh, beautiful, beautiful music, which chants like this. And there's actual music in the background orchestrated by, by an exceptional composer out of China. Um, and just gorgeous. You listen to it, you chant with this master, and I tell you, you can't, you can't not feel better after chanting that 10 or 15 minutes. It's virtually impossible because you're chanting with master. Uh, and any master that's a true master, their frequency is higher than us. Master Shah is a true master. You'll learn more if you don't know. And to chant with any master that has true and higher frequency will automatically make you feel better. So if you're interested in that piece of music, you know, go to his website, look in the product section, uh, and you should be able to find it. Kristen posted it yesterday. She might, uh, might post it again today. I keep her on her toes. Thank you so much, Kristen. And so today's mantra is reverse. So what is the sound power for the back half of the body? It's yo. One major difference between yesterday and today. Yesterday, we went up to the center of the body, back down in front of the spine. The reverse uh, mantra, thank you, Kristen, for posting how to find that CD. The reverse mantra <clears throat> goes through two invisible holes in your spinal cord. Okay, So these invisible holes obviously can't see them, but they are in your spinal cord, and they connect the uh, mantra, they connect the energy and matter channel. So the energy channel was yesterday, today is the matter channel. It is the rejuvenation channel. And so the creative visualization when we do the practice will be from the root chakra, first soul house, up through the spinal cord, through the invisible holes, up to the top of the head, back down through the seven soul houses, down to the base chakra, back up through and then back down. And obviously, the mantra will be the reverse of the one that we just chanted. So we're going to practice it. <clears throat> so the sound power for the back, visualizing the light, not energy, visualizing light, going up. Yo, top of the head, wong, wong, yi, 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 shi, 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 ah. So it'd be yo, wang, yi, shi, shi, ah. That's how the mantra would go. So wang, yi, shi, ah, hong, hung, hei. Yo, wang, yi, shi, ah, hong, hung, hei. Yo, Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He. You starting to understand? Let's continue slowly. I want you to place your palms. We're going to be using body power. Body power, where you place your hands, is where the energy goes. So place one palm on your lower abdomen. We're just going to do it a little bit differently today than yesterday. Place your other palm directly across from that one on the dip in your lower back. <coughs> okay? So this is where you would place your palms, and it is okay if they get tired there in that position to switch them. If um, you are unable to reach around to your back, then arm is sore or whatever the condition may be. Place both palms, one over the other, on the front of the lower abdomen. Okay, And the palm in the front is, is uh, just, let me rest your knuckle in the belly button. All right, very gentle, very relaxed. That's your body power. Your sound power will be yo, wang yi shi ah hong, hung hei. And it looks like Christian has posted the Divine Sacred Circle for Rejuvenation and Longevity. It doesn't show me everything she posted there, but I'm guessing that it's the chanting of the mantra. <clears throat> so you can have the words there. And. Uh, uh, Visualization. Now, I don't expect you're going to be able to close your eyes right away until you get used to the mantra. But when you do, what you want to visualize is light going through this circle in your body, up through the spinal cord, back down to the center of your body. However, I don't want you to um, get dizzy focusing on that circle. Your intention is to have the light go around your body. Your focus is on your root chakra, your first chakra, the base of your torso. Okay? So you keep your attention and in, uh, there, but your intention is that the light is going around. Okay? So those are the three powers. The fourth power, go ahead and 
change your body power for just a minute, we're going to do a connection. So this is what's called the soul light era hand position. It's just like a prayer, except we drop our left hand in front of our heart center. So the right hand connects to heaven, the left hand connects to the heart center. Okay. <clears throat> Close your eyes. If it's comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear beloved divine, dear the source creator, I love you, I honor you, deeply appreciate and respect you. I ask today that you please come to sit in my body and bless me to rejuvenate, bless me to clear blockages in my matter rejuvenation channel. Bless me to understand the wisdom and the teachings and to have the wisdom to practice more often. Thank you. Dear the soul of all the holy beings that have been invited here today, all beings of love and light, I love you. Could you please come and as appropriate bless my practice? I am very, very grateful. So this is connecting with the outer souls. Now we connect with the inner souls. Remember, everything has a soul. So, if it's comfortable, continue to repeat. Dear the soul of my seven soul houses, my Wai Jiao and my energy and matter channels, I love you. I truly appreciate all of the service that you have given me. You have allowed me to live in a very, very beautiful way. Please heal yourself as we chant to rejuvenate. Do a good job. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. And so uh, if you know the mantra, then close your eyes. If you do not, then do your best to catch on. Uh, and when you feel like you're comfortable with it, close your eyes and visualize the light going in a circle up the spine, back down through the center of your body. <clears throat> and then Keep your focus on your first soul house, your first root chakra. Okay? Let us begin. Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung. Hey, place your hands back where they were, one hand on your lower abdomen, one hand on that dip in your back. Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung. Hey. Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo The light's going up your spine Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Continue to visualize the light Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Pay attention. What did you come into today's practice with? Did you have a headache? Were you exhausted? <clears throat> Do you have a pain in the back or the legs? Do you have discomfort in the abdomen? What's going on for you? Make note because at the end of the practice we're going to check in again. Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Hung Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hung Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hung Hung He Yo Wang Yi 
Shi Ahong Hang He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ahong Hang He Hey Hung. This is going the other way now. Up through the center of the body, back down in front of the spine. Hey Hung Hong Ah Shi Yi Wong Yo. Hey Hung Hong Ah Shi Yi Wong Yo. Hey Hung Hong Ah Shi Yi. Wang Yu He Hung Hong Ah Shi Wang Yu A little bit faster. He Hung Hong Ah Shi Wang Yu He Hung Hong Ah Shi Wang Yu Hey Hung Hong Ah Shi Wong Yo Hey Hung Hong Ah Shi Wong Yo And now reverse up to the spine back down to the body Yo Wong Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung Hey, you, Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung. Hey, a little bit faster. Yo, Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung. Hey, 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 if your arms are getting tired, it's okay to switch your palms. Yo, Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung. Hey, yo. Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Yo Wang Yi Shi Ah Hong Hung He Reverse He Hung Hung Ah Shi Yi Wong Yu He Hung Hung Ah Shi Yi Wong Yu Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, ye, wong, yo. 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 Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, yo. <coughs> Reverse. Yo, up the spine. Yo, wong, ye, she, ah, hong, hung, hey. Yo, wong, ye, she, ah, hong, hung, hey. Yo, wong, ye, she, ah, hong, Oh.
Aung Hung He. Keep your eyes closed. Continue to chant silently. <coughs> hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. Visualizing the light. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. Up through the center of your body. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. Reverse. Yo, Wang Yi Shi A Hong Hang He. Yo, Wang Yi Shi A Hong Hang He. Yo, Wang Yi Shi A Hong Hang He. Yo, Wong Yi Shi A Hong Hung He. <coughs> Continue to visualize the light going through the center of your body. I'm sorry, do it in reverse. Go up through your spinal cord, back down to the center of your body. Up through your spinal cord, back down to the center of your body. See the light rotating, and I will offer a soul reading at this time as to what is happening while you are chanting. At this time, it is not only you that is receiving the benefit. As was said at the beginning of this practice, all souls are interconnected. And where one soul gathers, where three souls gather, there is great shift. There were many called to this practice today, many beings of lights, stars, planets, and galaxies, and universes. It is not known at the human level that all life has energy systems, all life has chakras, all life circulates the energy. Therefore, the planets, stars, galaxies, and universes chanting with you are also circumnavigating their rejuvenation channels. They, too, are receiving healing and benefit. And because of the interconnectivity between them and the human being, between them and Mother Earth, there is a universal healing that is occurring. There is universal rejuvenation at this time. For those on an individual level that are chanting, there is literally a rejuvenation of all of your energy and matter. Because each of the cells that make up your energy and matter, each of the souls that make up your energy and matter, are no different than a star or planet. They too have the seven soul houses. All things are made from Creator. Creator has the seven soul houses, and therefore everything in your body, everything outside of your body, can chant and serve along with you. As above, so below. And so it is with this practice today that you are serving in a very unconditional manner all souls in your body and all souls outside of your body. This practice has a significant benefit to align you to your original creator because original creator is source, is light, is created in your likeness and so forth. And by doing a practice of this nature, you are aligning to that which is, that which is of the highest and most pure. Continue to practice as often as possible. This is not to be said at this time. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. In other words, Norman, I tell you who it is that's, that's giving that message, but at this time I was not uh, supposed to reveal that. <coughs> how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So everybody, please uh, check in with your body. How are you feeling now? What are sensations are you noticing? Um, are you feeling more relaxed where you came in stressed? Are you feeling more energized when before you were exhausted? Uh, if you had a condition 
physical, emotional, mental, uh, bodily condition, uh, is it any different than what it was? Check in with yourself, see what's happening, and then share, please share. <coughs> this uh, mantra was released in what's called the Divine Soul Song Book. And the Divine Soul Song Book is the only book of all of Master Shah's books that received a healing transmission to each and every page. Uh, Master Shah was actually um, reprimanded, if you will, by the Divine for, for giving so much blessings to, <laughs> to a book because it's, it's, it's every page in every book all over the world. And so the power in the Divine Soul Song book is extraordinary. And the CD in the back, which has this mantra in it, by the way, is also extraordinary. It's just, uh, it, it circles after three minutes, so you don't get the, uh, all of the uh, music and everything that goes with it. But um, <clears throat> it's quite interesting uh, that uh, I was guided to chant this today. It is an amazing mantra. I uh, sometimes will just start chanting it, not even thinking about chanting it, I'll just be driving or whatever, and I'll just start chanting it. And always, within just about five minutes, I, I truly feel much better. Something about it that moves the chi, moves the frequency, moves the imbalances um, very, very quickly. And um, uh, I tell you, there's a great deal of wisdom in understanding the energy body, understanding soul power. Um, when we incorporate the four powers, uh, it's just amazing what can happen. Uh, it looks like the, the video was about a second or two behind my voice, so I hope everything is still clear and it's not uh, skipping. So I see some comments. I'm going to uh, read those comments at this time. <coughs> and so I see that uh, Katie Nottis is fully energized. Wonderful. CJ comments that she's ice cold. Uh, very interesting because, uh, as you might have heard me say this before, but, but cold energy is old energy. That means you're you're literally moving out the old. That means that you're, you're heating up. And so the extremities, if you check your fingertips and your toes, could be cold. It's a very good sign in terms of doing a healing practice. Um, so Dean Willis says vibrations. Wonderful. She says the pain has lessened some, but still a little bit there. Okay. So you can do other practices, you know, Teresa. One thing we did not do, which I, I have to apologize for, I did not, um, did not be super in this practice. Um, and that could have made a significant difference in the results today. Um, Johannes, I uh, felt tickling in the back of his head, also called um, uh, God Chakra. What I know also generally feel much better. Excellent. CJ, always grateful. Thank you, CJ. Linda says, feeling very energized, hot, and vibrating. Was stressed and tired when we started, but now she's feeling very energized, hot, and vibrating. Amazing. Uh, and Nancy says, more, more warmth, more energy, uh, and was feeling very tired. Uh, welcome, Alan Dallas. Uh, and thank you, Elizabeth, for your sharing. <clears throat> and she says, definitely more re relaxed, happy to have been able to catch this whole, um, the whole blessing today uh, while doing chant. Did feel warmth up the spine, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Aloha, loveness, and thank you, everyone, for your sharing. Esther says, very warm, tingling body. So we chanted about maybe 15 minutes, uh, maybe 20. I don't think we got close to 20, but maybe 15 minutes. And you have to stop and ask yourself, have you ever in your life chanted something for 10 or 15 minutes and had such a significant difference in your energy levels? It's amazing what can happen when we connect with the, the soul. Everything has a soul. We ask the inner souls, the soul of our energy centers, our, our chakras. We ask the soul of, of a waijiao, which is the name of the space that runs to the back. We ask um, the soul of, of the, uh, uh, the channels, the energy channel, which is the channel that runs up through the front of the body and back down, and the rejuvenation or matter channel, which goes through the spinal column and back down in front. One goes one way, one goes the other. Um, so the energy and matter channels, uh, every human being has them. This, you know, this mantra, all, everything we're doing is, is not special, guys. It's been out there for 5,000 years. We just have to become more informed about it and do it on a consistent basis. 
that's what makes the difference. I saw a comment on a massive headache disappearing. Why? I'm not amazing. I didn't do anything. Thank you for the comment, but it's not me. I'm leading you through teachings that Dr. Master Shah has brought. And Dr. Master Shah puts his head on the ground and says, thank you, God. I'm just a vehicle. He's written 20 books, and yet he doesn't know half the things that he writes because it just comes through. Uh, and it's divine wisdom. Divine wisdom brings the sound mantra. Divine wisdom says this is where the, the systems are. This is how you do it to clear the energetic blockages. God loves us. Divine loves us. Source loves us. Doesn't matter what name you use, the Creator loves us. Always sending us messengers. Always trying to assist us to clear our blockages so that we can return to the heart as quickly as possible. So that we can become one as quickly as possible. It is our stuckness in our selfishness. It is our stuckness in, in everything outside of us versus connecting that keeps us from finding our higher self, connecting to our higher self, and returning to the heart of the divine. It is our stuckness on all these different levels and the karma that we bring into this life that keeps us from making the highest and best choices for our health and well-being. It is the stuckness of our karma that keeps us attracting the wrong relationships to us, that keeps us in poor financial conditions, and all other things that we're not enjoying. And so that's why I so much appreciate Dr. and Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, because he gives us the tools, the wisdom, and the how to move away from everything that sucks, everything that hurts, everything that doesn't feel good. He gives us the step by step, the soul journey, how to get from A to Z. The Tao, Tao Wan, one of his books, How to Reach Immortality, a little advanced, but still, that's the, that's the earmark of a, of a most relevant teacher. He teaches you how to, to find your way back home. Now, this is not to change whatever belief system you have. It certainly isn't to cause you to think anything different than serves you. Um, its purpose is to assist you where it makes sense. I have put my, put my life into a place of, of, of education where I will accept whatever anyone says against what I understand. If it resonates with me, great, I will adapt it. If it doesn't, I won't poo-poo on it. I will just acknowledge that it doesn't resonate with me. I will set it aside and I will say maybe at some point in time I will become more informed, more aware, and it will make sense. But I'm not going to say anything negative about it. I will simply recognize that I might not have enough awareness to make a, a effective discerning of the value of it. And it's the same with any belief system. This is not a belief system as much as an educational process that was given to, to this teacher because of his dedication to serve humanity. And so I encourage you, again, to learn more about the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. Pick up a book or two if you're kind of new to this. Uh, excellent starter book is called The Power of Soul. Um, uh, the, those that have been following my daily live streams Monday through Friday, uh, if, if someone has been consistent, I see Nina's beautiful comment, they have gotten healthier and healthier and healthier. It's no different for anybody that tends to follow uh, a common sense wisdom. Clear the blockages, do forgiveness, do more love-based things. Learn how to clear your, your karmic blockages. There are ways to accomplish it. As a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah, I have been given very, very significant authorities to help clear your Shen Qi and Jing blockages. I'm going to touch on this as I did the last couple of days for those that are not familiar with it. And this includes crown chakra blessings where you get a two minute, uh, basically a beam of light comes in, clears the Shen Qi Jing blockages for relationship, things of that nature. Uh, I've been offering um, the opportunity to receive um, a kundalini, a brand new kundalini, a brand new heart center, a brand new second energy center, all in one package, clears the blockages. So many blockages in our heart center, keeps us from happy and open heart, keeps us in unpleasant relationships, keeps us from forgiving ourselves or forgiving others. Why, why, why would anybody want to keep that? Get it cleared. Get a brand new heart center. Get a light wall protection. The kundalini, directly related to our brain health, our kidney health, directly related to our immune system and immune system energy, directly related to our foundational strengths, directly related to a third eye popping open. It takes lifetimes of practice to open the kundalini properly, to build it to a two inch size. You can get one in three minutes with a healing and transmission system. Not something I understood until I became a divine channel vehicle and servant. 
It takes a long time to grasp the value of these things. But learn more. Go to my website, asoulhealer.com. It's listed above the video. I talk about what is a healing and transmission system. I talk about how you can clear your relationship blockages with my soulmate attraction system. I talk about things in a very matter of fact and logical way. So learn more about them. Serve your soul journey. You can do it the way we've been doing it. If you have the financial blessings where you can afford to onboard some of these higher level transmissions, where you can clear the blockages right away, receive light wall protections, receive golden light balls, which take hundreds of lifetimes to, re to, to build on your own, then do so. It's just wise. Um, so contact me through Facebook Messenger. You can email me, asoulhealer at yahoo.com or through my website. There are many ways to contact me. Please share if you're new and you enjoyed this, you want to know more when I go live. It's Monday through Friday, same time. But if you hit the subscribe button at the end of this video, then uh, you'll be notified when I go live, okay? So let us thank everybody that's been present. Thank you, Divine Tao Source. Thank you, all beings of light, all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you, Mother Mary. Thank you, Kuan Yin. Thank you, all beings of light, Masters of Sin and Masters, Lama, Sifus, and Gurus. Thank you to the soul of Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the blessings you brought to us today. We thank all of the souls that have forgiven us for everything we've ever done to bring harm to them. We love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great weekend, uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, or I will see you Monday. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Have a great weekend.